Ahead of the launch of the Hooniverse tomorrow, two exclusive photos of the 14th Doctor have dropped, courtesy of two separate publications. So yes, tomorrow is the day that Doctor Who's new online archive drops, the BBC's iPlayer archive and online archive, under this umbrella title of The Hooniverse. 800 episodes of Doctor Who programming, at least on iPlayer, uh, exclusive stuff as well, including uh, the spin-offs, Doctor Who Confidential, Tales of the TARDIS, the online archive with new photos and documentation as well and stuff from the archive from over the years. I don't know exactly when that's going to drop, whether it's going to be like literally from midnight tonight or you know sometime tomorrow, but I, I expect to do some sort of content about that when it goes live, maybe like a, a kind of guide, just kind of looking around and seeing what there is to discover on the online archive, so do stay tuned for that, make sure you're subscribed. And magazines ramping up their Doctor Who contents as well, ahead of the anniversary. So first up we have this new image from the Radio Times of David Tennant as the 14th Doctor, a similar one as well from SFX magazine. So from this first one, I mean, they're both dropped online. I think Radio Times have said that it's also included in this week's issue as well, like the physical print issue. And then tomorrow, the 1st of November, the same day that all the iPlayer stuff happens, or all the online archive, the Hooniverse stuff happens, SFX Magazine are running uh, the, their latest issue as well, with 28 pages of exclusive Doctor Who content. So that looks set to be a great issue. Uh, we don't have a cover yet, but presumably it's going to be Doctor Who cover. And loads of Doctor Who goodness inside as well, you know, interviews, exclusives, photos, stuff, you know, about the 60th specials, but also, I believe, about Taz the TARDIS as well, some exclusive set reports and photographs from that. But these images released by these two publications are kind of like at very similar times. I'm not quite sure what's going on there with the timings. Did SFX like see Radio Times as exclusive and think, oh actually we're gonna get a piece of that as well? I don't know. But yes, two very similar images of the Doctor in Oh, no, gosh, where is this? Is this uh, clearly some kind of spaceship set, some futuristic setting, kind of like a, a corridor, isn't it? Like a circular corridor with an intriguing sort of door behind Tenant there and it's kind of ring LED lights kind of going along the corridor in these different stages. Um, is this some sort of spaceship? Could it be the TARDIS, maybe? That the new TARDIS interior, part of that? That's something that I've just thought of fairly recently. I mean, my first thought was, yeah, it's probably a spaceship. It's probably something from Wild Blue Yonder. That is the special that we know the least about, that there's so much mystery about it. I'm probably going to do more videos in the future, you know, about that episode, kind of speculating just what it is, what it's about, what the deal is with that story, because there is so much that we don't know. But yes, the Doctor is stood there, you know, looking great as ever, and the Radio Times have run this article alongside this picture. Uh, David Tennant shows off updates Doctor Who costume in new picture. The 14th Doctor's outfit is subtly different to the 10th. They kind of go on to explain how it's different. Of course, if you are a regular viewer of the channel and you've been keeping up to date with recent videos, you already know how the costume is subtly different, because of course I had a recent guest on, uh, Joe, for, for various videos, including one all about his Screen Accurate's 14th Doctor costume. So if you do want to go and, and learn a bit more about that, uh, kind of a bit more than this kind of surface level article from Reddit Times, do go and check that video out. Uh, it's a great video, uh, really, really, really great to do that. And then the second image from SFX, a very similar thing, like I say, same set, same setup, just with the, with the Doctor a bit close to the camera in a slightly different pose. Um, so so not, not too much more to say, I suppose, but, but yeah, where is this mysterious location? Is it a Wild Blue Yonder thing? I'm thinking it probably is. It, it could be some offshoot of the TARDIS, some kind of TARDIS corridor, you know, we've seen stuff like that in the past, it would make sense. I think in terms of like the colours and colour scheme and kind of look and feel of this corridor as well, it would kind of fit into the TARDIS set from what we know about it and obviously we don't know much but well I've kind of like some leaked images and, and stuff so yeah I, I think that would kind of fit in equally it could be a new location I mean what's through the door behind him what, what is that all about uh, what, what secrets are these shots hiding who knows so that's it for this video really just a little short one I mean go and check out the other stuff I've been doing recently about the 60th about Towers of the TARDIS and all that kind of good stuff and like I say you know tomorrow as well I expect to do some sort of content about you know whatever we get, we know we're getting this iPlayer archive. I suppose we don't really know quite how it's gonna look or quite how it's gonna feel or any of that kind of stuff and what it's gonna be like to use as well. So I'll be doing something about that and Tales of the TARDIS and all that stuff as it drops. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss that and stay tuned. Uh, please like this video as well if you have enjoyed it and comment below all of your thoughts and theories about these images and about this mysterious space, where it could be. You know, do you think it's the TARDIS? Do you think it's a spaceship? Do you think it's somewhere else? Do you think it's from Wild Blue Yonder or one of the other specials? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But otherwise, until the next one, thank you so much for watching and goodbye for now.